Welcome to Jeff Rowe's Wide World of Sport Aviation. Hey, Jeff Rowe. Back at the hangar today uh, for two reasons. One, I want to get uh, the airplane ready for spring and summer flying, so I got to take away the the louvers you saw me put in in one of my last videos and get the larger uh, shark gills on the side here for more for more cooling. Tomorrow is the big solar eclipse. So what we're, we're planning to join the Smith Falls Flying Club group. We're going to fly from Carp here over to Smith Falls, meet up with whoever's going. We're going to fly down to Kingston and hopefully we can all sit park if you like it on the airport and we can watch the solar eclipse from a from a wide open area. I mean it's one thing to be in the city and watch an eclipse but when you're on an airport and you got you know this much open space you should have a very unobstructed view. Here we are approaching Smith Falls to meet up with the flyout group. I don't see a whole bunch of airplanes lined up ready to go anywhere. As it turned out there wasn't much of a flyout group. There was us, the original organizer, and another couple. The coordinator said he had filed a flight plan to Sherbrooke. I didn't want to go there. The other couple said they might go to Brockville. After a brief discussion, my wife and I have decided that we should stick with our original plan, and that was to go to Kingston. So I filed a flight plan to Kingston, and here we are on our way. We were, we were cleared straight in left base to Kingston, Runway 19, and here we are on approach. This video here on approach is four times our normal speed. That's one of the reasons why it's so jumpy. Well, we arrived safe and sound in Kingston, and we're sitting here in the, mid, in the middle of a flight school. Planes and activity around us, and we're just having lunch. Bare bones lunch, uh, sandwich with cheese, and uh, orange, we got apples. We're in the airplane, because it's comfortable, and we're about an hour ahead of eclipse time, so. Well, the group meetup at Smith Falls was a bit of a bust. There was one, one guy who said that he set it up, but we have come to Kingston, right or wrong. It is a lot of overcast, but there's a hint of blue sky, hoping for the best. We're set up here in the, beside the airplane, as out of the wind as we can get. Got blankets, cushions. Yeah, just a side note. This is not far from home, but I have actually not been here since my solo cross country back in 1987. It's a new adventure, or almost a new adventure. Anyway, we are not alone. These folks flew in from Muskoka. And these guys here are headed to Cornwall and the twins. Well, my hangar neighbor from Carp showed up. There's people here from all over though. Not a total bust. Anyway, little airplane did his job and got us here. It's a good flight. Twilight now. There's no shadows on the ground at all. But you can see that it's a 
a lot of cloud cover. Unfortunately, we got some holes, but all in the wrong place. It's getting really dark. It's just, we're in the heart of the eclipse now. I'm going to aim this directly at the sun. You can't see it, but I'm going to put my glasses over it. And maybe. Woohoo! <laughs> Oh, please work. I'll look at it with my eye, but I can look at it with the camera. Oh, that is so cool. Look at how dark it is here. Oh, man, that's incredible. This guy just took off into the dark, man. Oh, man, that is just, ins that is insanely beautiful. With or without these lenses, you can still see, I'll be able to get the aurora here on this. And is it ever dark? Oh yeah. What have you got on your eyes? Well, I, I can't see the sun. I'm, got, I'm behind the camera. Okay. And I have one eye closed. Just got to make sure the camera's still shooting. Yeah. It is. Oh, that is a, that is really really something. In. Even with all this cloud cover, it still looks fantastic. Yeah. I'll put my glasses on. I can't even, I can't see it with the glasses on, you know that? No, neither can I. But I can see it, I can see it with a naked eye, though you're not supposed to look at it. I know you're not. And I can see it on, I can get it, I've got it on the camera. Oh, that's incredible. And it's getting cold too. Yeah, don't stare at it, but no, don't. you can take a quick glimpse with your naked eye and look at it. Just That's for what I did. just for a second, it looks amazing. But isn't that funny with glasses we can't see it? Yeah, with the, with the glasses on you can't see it. No, it's Well, see, with the naked eye and this camera, uh, you know, because there's so much cloud, the camera can shoot it just fine. There's a bit of a hole in the cloud coming, but... You want some coffee? No. Yeah, I've probably got enough, eh? That's such a cool color, like, around it. Really Going to take a quick coffee sip here. Starting to lighten up again. Oh, yeah, here it comes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, you should get that. No, it went from... Yeah, it went from full aurora to... Back to a blast. Oh well. It's over and done with. <laughs> I mean, that was cool. <laughs> that was. That was really, really cool. I don't think I've ever experienced that before. I know I haven't. I know. I don't think I've ever experienced it getting dark like that in anything. Well, folks, that was worth the price of admission. Hundred and twenty dollars worth of gas. Whiskey, whiskey, in position 25, Kingston. 
Do you label USG or Roger? Uh, request to hold uh, for now, just to verify that the uh, inbound is going to hold them up. Affirmative, do you label USG or Roger? Hold it. Roger, thank you. Break, break, do you label USG or Roger? You can depart to your discretion. Juliet Whiskey Whiskey are rolling 25 Kingston. Lima Delta Delta, the Ottawa altimeter 3005. portion of the country. 
The 2025 zone of totality will cover the entire country from coast to coast to coast. We can all watch it from the streets, our backyards or living rooms. And instead of the moon shadow moving across the country from west to east, the upcoming eclipse will sweep from east to west. Here's a sneak preview of what you can expect. <laughs> I'm really excited for this one too.